not asking for your company. I've been with your understudy in the broken, beaten blocks of the city. I follow you today with the children they run in. On the street, dealing by the sea. First next day, you walked with me. Our black eyes, our black eyes, go out. I think the dynamic between us has changed. We we started out. Um, we learned how to write songs together, how to sing harmonies. We, we just we just uh, got our start together. We had a musical group called the Jayhawks, and that entailed a lot of other things besides Gary and myself sitting down and playing together. People get it really get it, but uh, even when we play this bluegrass festival, it's like we, we don't quite fit in, but you know, we're, we're not quite the pure bluegrass, or we play a rock festival, we're not quite the rock thing, but, um, uh, but we are who we are. You know? When we first tried to get gigs, they were in real rock and roll bars, and most of the bands were playing extremely loud and rocking out. And I think Gary and I were both the type of people who really weren't, just in our nature, we weren't uh, more people that were going to shout above the music. started getting more uh, comfortable with writing our own songs and bringing them to each other and kind of beco becoming sounding boards, uh, editing each other, and uh, really just kind of being the, the, the verifier in a way. It's, there's nothing like songwriting. It doesn't mean you can sit down and be a short story writer. Songwriting is completely different. It's its own thing. I would have a song 75% done and he'd help me finish it or vice versa. There's still within the, those songs, there's some that were half and half, some I barely did anything on and some he barely did anything on, but it all balanced out. Well, I have to say that Gary was very organized about saving old material that we had laid down on cassettes. And in the back of my mind, I knew there were some songs there, but he had them on the cassettes. So that led to uh, reworking a few of the songs. And that's always fun because when, when you come at something 10 years later, you've definitely improved and it's definitely a new song and it takes off in a different direction. The only words that lovers need to say Alone, alone, I'll hide my time Well, we sat and learned uh, the Lubin Brothers songs, a number of them. Uh, my Baby was a real fun one. We used to play at the 400 Bar. 
and um, you're learning. That was another good one. And uh, I would hope that we could be in their league. You know, the, the Lubin brothers, the Everly brothers, Simon and Garfield. Well, you said them. That's that's the league. That's the goal. I think the world needs another a new Simon and Garfunkel, and uh, you know, I, I love their stuff, and I love how beautiful they, powerful they were in such a quiet setting. I worked with great producers. I've been very lucky. We know what you do to make a record, so we didn't need somebody to just teach us exactly. What we really needed was to give ourselves confidence and to give us comfort level and we really needed just some an ear and somebody we could trust. Chris is just a, a, one of the top three audiophiles I guess I know. I mean he knows old music, he knows new music, he knows traditional, he knows uh, you know Stockhausen or some experimental music and all that kind of stuff and we trust him and he would tell us whether the song sucked or not. I remember it now. To me, the, a really good first line and the theme of the song is very important. What, what your point of view of the whole thing, where you're going with it, as far as what you're saying about the world around you. Typically, I would have a little, I'd have a little melody and a guitar part, chord progression, um, maybe a little mumbling, and he would pull out the notebook and start writing lyrics. I like beautiful things that have depth and, and a bit of uh, pain in them because that's uh, what life is really about. I think it's just uh, unless you're a six-year-old, you kind of become aware of what goes on out there. And it's uh, a bit of a battle, but it's also you know, a beautiful battle. It's just a, 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 uh, So I think our music reflects life, our lives, and uh, it's just not one thing or the other. It's both, but uh, we send, tend to sing. I, I am drawn especially to uh, beauty and melodies. Place to live Saturday morning on Sunday street how I 